benefits of taking long-term aspirin needs to be outweighed with the potential risk with, associated with the use of aspirin therapy. The current consensus is, based on the current guidelines and recommendations by most societies, uh, you would see that aspirin is not actually recommended for wholesale use among patients who are healthy, who have not had any heart disease, i.e. for primary prevention. It may be considered in patients with multiple risk factors, for example, diabetes and multiple cardiovascular risk factors. Hence, if you are high risk for a heart condition, one may consider taking aspirin, but you need to consult your doctor before doing so, because you need to weigh the benefits of taking long-term aspirin versus the risk of the complications from using aspirin therapy. Uh, this may include the bleeding complications, gastric ulcerations, allergic reactions in some patients as well. So these are some of the concerns that need to be considered if you're going to take aspirin for prevention long term. So based on the current guidelines at the moment, um, there is not enough evidence to suggest that aspirin should be taken uh, wholesale across the board for all uh, healthy patients. So if your doctor were to recommend you to take aspirin, the next question is, how much aspirin should you be taking? What dose of aspirin is good for you? Uh, the recommended dose of aspirin for heart disease prevention is actually a very low dose. We recommend taking a baby aspirin or what we have in Malaysia, for example, is enteric coated aspirin. Concoctions such as cardiprin 100 milligrams or casprin 100 milligrams will suffice. This is good for both primary prevention as well as secondary prevention. Because there is very little evidence that taking a higher dose will confer additional benefits. And in fact, taking higher doses will actually lead to more complications. You're more likely to suffer from bleeding complications and the gastric issues. People who take long-term aspirin exposed to risk of internal bleeding, of gastric ulcers, it causes ulcerations. There are, so there are long-term side effects and concerns with uh, taking aspirin over a long period of time. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you.